Okay, please feel free to skip this video if this looks insultingly obvious to you, but um, I am always guilty of, of making mistakes with these sorts of things, so I, I try to spend a bit of time on this whenever I'm in and it, in test conditions, that, that's when I make most of these sorts of mistakes. So what I look at here is how many negatives there are. If it's an even number of negatives, my answer will, will be positive. If it's an odd number of negatives here, my answer will be negative. And because I only have one negative here, my answer will be negative. And then I'm left with 6 times 4, which is 24. For B, I have two negatives, which would make it positive. So then 6 times 7 would be my answer. For C, I look at the number of negatives I have. Again, it's just one negative, so my answer would be negative. And then I look at simply 42 divided by 2, which is 21. For D, I have two negatives, and therefore my answer will be positive. So 33 divided by 11 is 3. For the second part, it's uh, the same sort of thing, but just adding the numbers together. So if I have negative 6 and I add 7, that's equivalent to saying 7 minus 6, which is 1. For b, if I have a negative 6 and then I take away a further 8, it becomes more negative. So then that would be minus 6 minus an 8 is, is bouncing that way on the number line, and that would give me the equivalent of 6 plus 8, but on the negative side, which is negative 14. For this one, I have um, uh, an odd number. Well, I'm, actually, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I, what I've got here is two negatives. And if I have a negative over negative, that converts it into a positive. So this is effectively saying minus 6 plus 4. And this, in the same way that in, in part A, that could be written as 4 minus 6 which would be minus 2. It seems so, so simple when I'm going through it slowly, but it's surprising how many people make these sorts of mistakes in, in tests. And in the final one, this plus minus, it, it, a positive of a negative, is still negative. So minus 7 minus 3 is, again, the same sort of thing, bouncing down the negative direction. It's going to be 10, but negative. Okay, have have a go at some of the uh, some of the examples, uh, some of the exercises, just to make sure you're getting it all right.